Greetings. This is Earthman. Earthmansoil.com. God bless you guys. And I mean it. And uh, today we're going to talk about plant growth promoting bacteria and why they will greatly enhance size, yield, quality, and overall health of your organic plants. And if you want to compete or maybe even outdo chemical or organic liquid nutrients and grow huge, healthy, genetically dense plants, you're going to need growth-promoting bacteria. And as we are learning, these growth-promoting bacteria do so much more than make uh, locked nutrients that are in your soil available to your plants. Today's bacteria of the day is Fratenteria orantia. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the purpose of potassium for plants. First of all, it's a macronutrient. In other words, your plant needs a lot of it. Matter of fact, it's second only behind nitrogen. So what does it do? Well, it's needed for the movement of water, nutrients, and carbohydrates throughout the plant and plant tissues. It affects the plant's protein and starch production. It helps regulate the opening and closing of the plant's stomata, which affects the exchange of water vapors, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, which, if not functioning properly, will greatly stunt the size of your plant. It improves your health of your roots. It aids in photosynthesis. It also helps your plant develop resistance against different plant diseases, and environmental stresses. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and look at some natural and organic sources of potassium for your plants. A good one is potassium rock fertilizer. Um, also, a great one that you can use a lot of it is green sand and also rock dust. And a great one to use is kelp meal. Also, some people use wood ash left over from their fire and dried up banana peels after they've been dried out. They'll crush them up and put them in their garden. Let's go ahead and look at some potassium deficiency signs to what to look for in your plant. First of all, you'll have yellowing in the margins of your plant with yellowing and then brown scorching leaf tips. This will usually start with the older leaves and work its way up. Also, there will be some purple spotting underneath the leaves and on top. You'll notice because root development, seed production, fruit, flower, and bud production will suffer greatly with small yields and an overall unhealthy looking plant. Also, your plant will be more likely susceptible to plant diseases and different stresses that will affect it like heat, lack of moisture, and other things such as that. All right, my friends, let's take a closer look at this amazing growth-promoting bacteria, Fratteria orantia, potassium-mobilizing bacteria. First of all, it helps your plant have a better resistance to environmental stresses such as heat, cold, and drought. Your plant's overall size, biomass, yield, nutrient content, and overall quality will be greatly improved along with the leaf structure and also your plant's overall health. Also, it helps create healthy soil by likewise the organic acids and enzymes that help the plant's other function also helps the colonization and health of your microbes in your plant's rhizosphere. It also helps increase your plant's overall metabolism and likewise, it frees potassium up that's locked up in your soil and makes it readily available to your plant. So that's about it, guys. God bless you guys. And I hope that you learned something from this. And I hope that it helps you make a decision that you need living soil. And here at Earthman Soil, we have everything that you need when it pertains to living soil. May God bless you this day. Enjoy your day. That's an order. Have a good one.